Good evening guys, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Yes, it's a stream. Yes, I'm here. Uh, the first hour. Um, I'm going to get this done quickly and painlessly. So bear with me. He says, stick that on. Thank you very much telling me that's happening. Uh, stick that on there. Booyah. Why are we at... Uh, um, uh, Sam Patch Grade, you ask? Well... We'll find out in a second. Uh, so that's on. Okay, put that in there. Um, we'll find out in a second. Uh, Bradley's saying it looks all right. Interesting. Right. Okay. So we are here. How are you all doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and you know what? It's coming home. It definitely is. Right, I just need to pop into here. Um, and I was thinking, shall I go do an at everyone, but... You know, pinging them at midnight, it'd be like, really? <laughs> I'm expecting trouble. So, um, yeah, I'd rather not. Oh. There we go. Right, okay, so we're up and running. We're at Sandpatch. I'm in the back cave as well, guys. So, good evening, everyone. <clears throat> right, so, why are we at Sandpatch? Well, let's go down and have a look. I'm kind of hoping that this has worked. Don't worry, we'll be on Cane Creek in a second. When Matt did this on his Twitter stream, Twitch stream a few weeks ago, the UP locos turned up. Very unexpectedly, because he wasn't expecting them to be there. He forgot to remove them. So, um, yeah. The UP, the, the, the SD40 and the AC4400 thingy subbed in on his version good e good morning Paul uh, Carl good morning Bradley how are you this is the first hour stream I may get pinged I don't know but we'll see if we do I'll have to go down and get uh, sort her out so well I can't see a flood of yellow there just yet but you never know oh having said that is that a yellow one there or is that a But they do, the, the UP locos do sub in. And they sub in on anything. It just so happened that he had two different UP locos on two, two different consists. Oh, that's a shame. nothing running at the moment oh well there's a clinch field so the other one's coming I'm gonna wait for this one to come up see what he's got on him they usually have SD 40s hi you man overshoots how are you Davidoff how are you I will be going into clinch uh, Cane Creek in a minute But um, I just want to see this one come up. I was kind of interested to see whether it would show up with the um, UP locos, but obviously it doesn't. So. Blimey, you've still got a few ways to go at the moment. One of those trains will be disappearing in a minute. I think it's the coal train. So this one should be coming up and then we're going straight in the car there we go nah he hasn't look. i'm okay i'm tired tired glad that england won the semi-final so we're in the final now for sunday against italy that's a bit of a shame that okay well i'll have a look again later on at some point right cane creek 
So I don't know if this is with any of you guys on Facebook. Oh, it's not Facebook. The, the Xbox. But if I go back to the main menu, to the, the main screen, he says, and we'll get a couple of uh, things going. Good evening. Good evening, Julian. How are you? Robbie? Robbie? Who's Robbie? Coltrane? Ah, ha, ha, ha. England had a semi-final. Had a semi Oh, for God's sake, Bradley! <laughs> Crikey! Right, come on. Oh, come on! Right, here we go. So, basically, my Cane Creek isn't up the top. It's there. So let's get in. Let's delve into Cane Creek. Right. Um, so we're in Cane Creek. What have we got? Um, start a, I think it's start a new journey. We're just going to look. Continue. Oh, no. No, it's not that. Is it explore? There we go. Training. We're just going to training. And we'll go that. Right. Cane Creek introduction. We'll just do the, we'll do the loco introductions and everything. So, um, I mean, obviously on the Xbox, it's going to look good because, you know, you've got the Xbox. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Is it the S or X? It's a digital one, the same one I've got. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and, for it, and you know, some of you may or may not know that I do now own a digital S uh, Xbox. Um, I won't be getting TSW on it. It's for something else. Welcome to the Cane Creek Subdivision. We're currently at the mine in Potash, Utah, which is the largest supplier of traffic on the route. On our route. Let's begin exploring. Follow the markers down to the tracks. So this is what I quite like about this, where they've added these little info points and you have to find them. That's pretty cool. And of course, I'm going the wrong bloody way. Wow, that looks cool. Look at that. How far can oh? Just the standard. You can only go so far away. Yeah, look. That's a shame. Right. Okay. A train has just finished loading and is about to leave. Cool. Hop on board and go for a ride. Oh, go on then. You know what? I have to say that even watching the stream... Even watching the stream they did on the original PS4 Pro... There is much to do here on the Cane Creek subdivision. Control heavy tonnage over the rugged and scenically beautiful Cane Creek branch in Utah. Oh. Motion blur. All potash from the mine up to the main <laughs> or operate the trains of a uranium mine cleanup site. So yeah, even even though they had the um um Dom. Oh, didn't really want to do that. Journey across open, arid plain and through narrow canyons past towering rock cliffs. Even though they did the PS4 Pro version, I really didn't think it looked good through the YouTube stream. Take control of your train and enjoy the challenges of this scenic branch line. I'm getting 30 frames a second, which I think this with this there's a fair bit in there anyway, but it will change once you're in the thing. He's going to walk it to our yeah, that's cool. Explored a small area here. 
So let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. I mean, there's not really much you can do in one of these sort of little videos, sort of these little tutorials. Utah's rugged canyons and remote desert country as you battle steep grades. Oh, look at that. Heavy tonnage with contemporary Union Pacific diesel power. With Skyhook Games, Train Sim World 2, Cane Creek. Along the way, don't forget to top up the water dispensers. Pick up spiking hammers. Oh, they're going to be good to find. Pick up visibility vest. And place points of interest posters on the point of interest board. Well, it, it, Welcome it, it, to Cane Creek. It makes a change from the um, knackered cabinets or something like that. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that looks cool. And it does look a little bit... It does look a lot better when you see it from the original PlayStation 4 Pro stream. And this is a PlayStation Pro 4. Um, so, yeah, it, it does look a lot better from than what I see. Hi, Pi Trade, Just a real fan of how are you? It's out on the PlayStation and the Xbox right now. It will be out from about 1800 tonight your time uh on if you're if you've got a playstation or an xbox it's available now on your xbox or playstation store in the us at midnight midnight your time if you got pc steam it's not out till about 1600 1800 your time That road sound needs to be toned down a bit. That's a bit loud. It might actually. Oh. In this training module, we'll learn about operating the Union Pacific Electromotive SD40-2. That's better. The six-axle, 3,000 horsepower SD40-2 is one of the most successful diesel locomotives ever constructed, and the type remains in service. Almost all trains on the Cane Creek subdivision use two or more locomotives on the head end. We thus have to set up the diesels accordingly as lead and trailing units. Let's start by climbing aboard the trailing unit, which is the one farther to our left. No, no cars. Right. So, the one farthest to the left. Yeah, I think they need to they need to tone that down a bit because that's that's a bit noisy. Yeah, if it's... Basically, if you're on the PlayStation Store, it will come at midnight, local time to you. Any trailing locomotive must have its control stand disabled so that it can receive commands from the lead unit. Check that the control, fuel pump, the right and engine run switch are in the off position. No, I'm in the right one. Come on, let me sit down. Ugh. Maybe not them. Crouching it is. Trailing units also need to have their brakes set to cut out in trail 6 or 26. This is the default setting for all running locomotives. At Hi Kitty Gaming, start. how are you? So we can move on to the lead engine now. Okay, won't do that then. Right. This is our lead engine. In other words, the unit will be operating from. We must thus switch on its controls. Who are you? Our engine's controls are now active. Now we need to set the brakes for lead and the cut in to freight, which we can do with the two valves on the side of the control stand. Right, can you let me shut the door first and open the windows? Maybe not.
our two engines are now ready to run. Insert the reverser, set it to forward, release the brakes, and apply some throttle. Floating rocks. Drive to the destination marker and stop there. That's an Xbox problem. <laughs> right. Put the light on. Turn the Russian guy off. The path to your destination has been set for you in this scenario. Spot SC40 train. Really? There are numerous manual switches on the Cane Creek subdivision, and the engine crew must always ensure the switches ahead are aligned properly for its movements. No. So this does look quite nice. And I'm running at what, 45? 46 frames a second? Window open. That looks impressive. I know people will moan about the sounds not being right, but not much you can do, really. Just a wee bit, um... So I've not been on Train Sim World tonight. I was going to, because I had some videos to do, but I watched the England game. I just like in two minds, should I watch it or not? And I'm glad I did, but obviously the work's not been done, but that can go into next week. There's a new video released yesterday as well, which was the first episode of Walking the Route, Cole Narkin. Foxes are having a go. Wow, there you go continue all right so we do the ac4400 one so it's just basically an hour um stream because hey i've got to go up get up tomorrow well get up later on this morning and do a full full day's work and i suspect i will be getting up through the night uh sorting my mum out as well so um yeah there's not really much i can do about that but yeah, overall, it it you know from first looks, first impressions, it does look nice. It does look nice. Um, obviously, all the proper advertising for it, and they will. The DTG will be doing a stream tonight. Um, also, I'll be doing my stream, my normal Tuesday, Thursday night stream. This is the loco that I'm not really to what you call it about. Welcome to Potash. In this training module, we'll learn about operating the Union Pacific General Electric AC4400 CW. The big AC4400 CW is an example of state-of-the-art U.S. diesel locomotives with 4,400 horsepower and AC traction. You'll be the engineer of the two-unit lash-up right in front of you. Let's begin by preparing the units for service. Almost all trains on the Cane Creek subdivision use two or more locomotives on the head end. We thus have to set up no, the not much. accordingly as lead and trailing units. 
Let's start by climbing aboard the trailing unit, which is the one farther to our left. Can't be arse walking around. Um, I think at the end of the at the end of the day, Julian, it's it's what you make of it, what you want to do with it, what you know, how can you play it? I know there's not a lot of services. We'll have a look at them in a minute. Okay, okay, the other way around. But. For me, it adds uh, another error. Any trailing locomotive must have its control stand well, I can stream. so that it can receive commands from the lead unit. Check that the control, fuel pump, and engine run switch are in the off position. That'd be those little buggers there. Trailing units must also have their brakes set to cut out and trail. This is the default setting for all running locomotives at scenario start. So we can move on to the lead locomotive now. Oh, is that it? Okay. Okay. Plus the other thing is as well, it's UP40, uh, U Union Pacific. And I th Union Pacific were always a, a railway company that I got to know when I was very young from like the big massive F7s to the gas turbine locos and everything um, so yeah you know I sort of kind of grew up knowing these sort of things but then it wasn't like until this is our lead engine. Microsoft train sim words, the unit will be operating from that you know there's like we Burlington Northern and um, Santa Fe and all the other stuff where they all merged and oh gave me oh so we've got to have that one on. Our engine's controls are now active. Now we need to set the brakes for lead and cut in, which we can do on any one of the three screens located on the control desk. Um, you haven't really missed anything. Um, what am I doing? Oh, it's this thing. Sit in the engineer seat. A lot of time will be spent in there. Right, so we've got to do set up the brake valves and cut in. Oh, God. Notice. Is it Set the brake valves for cut in and lead. So. Cut in and the other one for lead. Our two units are now ready to go to work. Set the reverser forward, release the brakes, and apply a little throttle. Then carefully proceed to the destination marker and stop there. <sighs> That corona arch is that big archway, the stone arch sort of thing that you see in the video. Yeah, that. I mean, that is definitely not a uh, AC4400 horn, and that does, you know, I can understand why they are a little bit upset over it. your destination has been set for you in this scenario please be aware that there are numerous manual switches on the cane creek subdivision and the engine crew must always ensure the switches ahead are aligned properly for its movements gauge lights oh.
I like the fluorescent or the, the stuff coming off them. ST forties coming in. Okay, I thought they actually spelt the gauge like the gauge bit were wrong. Obviously they haven't. So we've done the tra trainings. I think there's another training mission. So we got a trophy and a gold medal. Bradley, hit it. Tank car set out. Okay. Let me just go back to the main menu because it's uh, a training module I think that I need to do. And then I'm going to do one of the one of the scenario the little scenarios, not the big ones. We'll do some of them tonight. Um, one or two of them. Um, so yeah, tonight it'll just be probably the just well, some of the scenarios. I know there's about twelve scenarios, so you know there's a fair few. So we go to explore. Oh, we got. Oh, yeah, we've done all three. Okay, so we'll have a look at the. Uh, actually, I just wonder. So you can't use a CSX version. Obviously, this is the weathered version. So the weather version looks nice. Train should be dirty. That's how they, you know, they should only be clean if they just come out of the depot or just been named. Right, okay, so we'll have a look at the scenario. Uh, oh, it's getting raining as well. Let's do 25 minutes because I came on at 10 to 10 10 past 12, so that'll take me 10 past one, and then that'll have to be it. Yeah, 12 scenarios, 21 services. It's not really a lot, but there again, some of those scenarios will take two hours to do, so they're not just one. You know, it, you just can't complete them overnight. Sort of. Well, you can't complete them overnight, but yeah. The other thing is as well is that you'll be able to use the locos on sand patch. People did say, can you use them on um, Clinchfield? I was like, well, why? Because Clinchfield's set in the 70s. Tank car set out. Oh, okay. Got to a trophy. We're being held at the signal to allow an eastbound train to pass. We have clearance to proceed when the signal clears. So, as far as I'm aware, we're all set up. Let's see what we got on us. Two AC four thingies. Five seven for one two. Okay, so I suspect we've got to drop drop these tank cars off. We're not very long, but we're pretty weighty. How heavy are we? We're probably about 2,000 ton, I reckon. Finding out. 3,880 ton. Ouch. Right, so where's this other loco? 
So we're being held there. Oh, he's just coming up, look. Oh, he's got three, oh, I suspect they'll be SD40s. Is there are cars in my cab. No, I, I think... The problem is, is that that needs to be sorted. That, that's the road noise and it's just too noisy. Now it's a shame. Right, so we can go now. I think the points should change. Yep. No, he wasn't. This is a bit of a the. It's a longer stretch of route. So we've got a four and a half mile run down to Brendel passing siding east. So this is where you got to be careful with your brakes. Okay, we're going to do 60 miles an hour then. Uh, what? You just crashed, as in Earth Fault, or the actual PlayStation just went bye? Matthew, if you're still here to answer your question, um, you only missed the introduction to the route and the... Um, I was on sand patch grade. Xbox went no, nope. oops.
I mean, not cheap. Hydration station. Yeah. Even though it, even though it's got a cooler option. I think it's a good idea to have it in there, but I don't think it's um it's not the ideal. Yeah, go come back. come out with a whistle Woo I've got to go via location. So where's that? I've got to go via by. Got to go via there. So I wonder. So we're coming. We're going to be stopping in about here then, I reckon, because that's the main line. What have you done, Bradley? Flight sim on the Xbox is 111, 110 gig. By the way. Hundred and ten gigabyte, yeah. From what I was looking at today. But oh my god, it looks so good. I'm so looking forward to it. I'll also get um game pass, I think, more more or less a time. I won't do anything with it for the time being because I just haven't got time to do with it. As a, like I said, there's a little bit of planning that I need to do at some point.
Drive past the third siding and stop as indicated. Ah, that'll be that one. Well, that's the original. That's the original um, download size at the moment. Flight sim. Hi, Shelby, as well. By the way, how are you? Um, it's sat on my PC at about. You know what? I can't remember how. How big it was on the PC. Split the train behind the first five tank cars, we must then spot these on the stub track next to us. Right, I'll still keep the brakes on a bit. Right, well I'm going to do this by hand anyway, so... Just keep an eye on the frame rate. You've hit the jackpot. What have you done, Bradley? Apart from hitting the brap, the, the brap, the jackpot. How are you watching me in 60 frames? Just just on um, uh, YouTube app. Aren't they? I've already got two of them. So, do you actually get, with Xbox achievements, can you actually get enough points sort of thing to, to buy a game or something to as, as money off, or what? I can't be asked getting out walking again. Because I, I need to know how that all works, because... Oh, I've got to do the other one, so... Oh. So we've got to do that one. Right, okay. Oh, you got your stream on two things. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you'll go? Oh, shit. Well, that didn't go to plan.
I thought I'd change the points over. Right, take two. Oh, okay. So this is uh, the first scenario, it's the 25 minute scenario, there's a 15 minute one as well. Don't, go on. the handbrakes what I remember Up the rest of the train, we can proceed. All ah, right, okay. Well, the only game that I'm looking at is obviously um, Flight Sim and quite possibly Forza. I like the racing games, won't touch Formula One, that looks shit because it's got a crappy little story mode to it. And it's got F2 on it. I'm not interested in that. I just want Formula 1. These brakes are pretty uh, responsive on here, aren't they? So are we going to get out of there then? Because it goes off into nowhere.
Yeah, Bing I hate at the best of times. I prefer Google to be honest. But isn't that a bit weird? The coupling's knackered. Well, that's got to be sorted out. You were. Oh, that's cool. I didn't read what that said. Let's stop at location. I can understand why people are pissed off about the the horn, um, but there again, there are mitigating reasons why they haven't done that. This is the sort of stuff that I like as well. This little bit of shunting, all set outs and everything. Overall, I think that it does look quite nice and obviously we haven't seen this part of the route yet, which I'm really looking forward to. So, And there we go. Please be a gold. Bradley, hit it. Four. Well, that's the first couple of bits, because we're getting up on the, on the ten past one, so it's only going to be the first hour. Four. blimey. That's a bit crazy. But I will be um, streaming again tonight. Thank you very much, Bradley. Um, right. So before I go, I just want to... We're just going to have a quick look. I, I I would love to do more, but I can't because I've got to get up for work in f six hours. So, yeah. Right, so main menu quickly. Um... I know people call it switching and all that, but nah, it's shunting to me. Why is there an advert playing? Right. Right, okay, so journey mode is just basic. I think it's exactly the same as everything else. Um, Cane Creek journey. So chapter one, Cane Creek tutorials. 
Chapter 2, Mainline Running. So I've done one of them already. Siding to Siding will do that. Chapter 3, Dirt Train, Moab. And Moab to Brendel. Potash Local. Free from operations. Free roam operations, basically, all on the line. So you can you can sort of shunt around or whatever sort of thing. Whole day on Cane Creek is literally... Uh, LDP46B to Moab loading at Moab we turn to Brendel and then unloading at Brendel and then C to Brendel C to Potash switching to Potash and then C running to Thompson and that'll be that one that's a, that's your six chapters so that's you got 21 so if you look in explore so uh, scenario so basically what you're doing you've got 12 scenarios and it gives you how long they're going to be so the next one we got is siding to siding which is 15 minutes then you've got an 80 minute 2 hours, another 2 hours 80 minute 80 minute, 110 a 10 minute one so I can do that one tomorrow 110 another 70 minutes and a 45 so we can do a 45 minute one as well so so that's that's the uh, scenarios then obviously the timetables will just be literally uh okay so we'll do the ac440 just do it as that and that that's what we can use and then obviously you've got the sd40 ones as well alan yes so um yeah it's not too bad but you know it's what can you do there's the the real trains there's only two trains barely every week down the, the branch so you know getting a whole sort of thing you're not going to get really a lot of, of of stuff so we're just going to go back to cane Cre uh, no we're not where are we going we are going to sand patch where are we And we're going to get in for about 7.45, I think. So it's awesome. Just a wee bit of cloud and a bit of wind. So it's just, it's a little bit like the the one of those some of those free roams. It's going to be like the stuff that you've got on on here at Sandpatch, which I quite like doing some of them sometimes actually. So we're going to go for seven forty-five. I'm just going to have a quick look. Spawning at six fifty-five. Oh God, really? Alan Thompson Potash. Oh, for God's sake. Um. So yeah, um, overall, is it you know people are going to ask a question, and I've already seen people saying, "I've watched the two streams. Is it worth it?" It's really a tough question when someone says, "Is it worth it?" You're giving them your opinion, and if you like something, you're going to give them the reason why you like it, not the fact why they like it. So it's at the end of the day, you give your opinion, and it's up to them whether they take you up on it. And they may take you up on it, and then they may call you every damn thing under the sun because your opinion is that you think it's really good. They'll look at it and think, oh, I just spent £25 on this, so I don't think it's that good. But you asked our opinion. Right, let's quickly go. So, you know, it's... This is, this is why I always say to people, but at the end of the day, it's down to... The decision is yours. It's not whether you should ask people whether you should buy it it's do you think you should after you know there'll be people saying no because it doesn't have the right engine sounds doesn't have the right horn sounds the trucks are wrong which they're not they're the correct ones for that route you know and you're never going to please everyone doing whatever that's the thing opinions are like a-holes everyone's got one 
So this is what he spawned in on. This coal train, not Robbie. So the UPS D40s would spawn in on that, which they haven't. Well, that's CSX. Apart from me, I don't. Mine wash at a fuel sheds. Ah, we'll have a look at those. I think this one's 50 wagons long. I don't know what's on this coal train. And it's not Robbie. Not Union Pacific. Okay, so we'll pop over here. There you go. There's one over on the turntable, look. So they do spawn in. And it, it will be about right. It's like what um, thing he said, what Matt said, that, um, that sometimes you will see him intermix with like other locos. Like you'll see BNSF, CSX, Union Pacific, and uh, Ferramex, uh, which is I think a Mexican rail company uh, loco TOC. Um, the same as uh, Norfolk Southern as well. You'll see all those locos in, in being hauled together, and it's like it's like. They hire them out just to get them around the place. You know, I've seen Union, not Union Pacific. What is it? Yeah, I've seen a Union Pacific loco on the Canadian streams. Uh, that wrote, oh, I, can't, I can't remember. It's on the Virtual Rail Fan. It's on his YouTube. Um, it's a place, Revel Stroke, I think it is. Revel Stroke, something like that, in Canada. Looks awesome. Um, seen uh, Union Pacific locos in there. Um, we haven't got any UP here, have we? CSX, yeah. Uh, that's Clinchfield there, look. Clinchfield SD40. That's awesome. Right, what have we got around here? Oh, we've got... <laughs> we've got my version of the Union Pacific. I, I told you I had to do that yellow. That yellow definitely has to uh, go. So, basically, we've got four liveries here. Oh, I've got two of them, look. I think they're GP38s, aren't they? They're not SD40s, they're GP38s. So we've got SD40, Clinchfield, CSX, Union Pacific, they haven't got any hen in Israel. No, that's a shame. And this, I think this is what the other thing as well is what you need. When you've got like two locos leading, and you've got like a CSX one and um, um, uh, the Union Pacific SD40 or AC4400. It does make a difference to breaking everything up. This is why sometimes, like, look at the sort of the multicolored wagons you got around here at the back. You know, all my livery creator jobs. It just it just breaks the monotony of having the uni all the all the white stuff. The gold loco, yeah. It's a bit gold, isn't it? Um, there's also some livery created coal wagons as well. Haven't touched the those ones yet, the Kartics. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle them. Um, 
but yeah okay but the only other one that i want to have a look at is oakville i don't think oakville the loco sub in um which is a real shame well we know that the union pacific does sub in which is quite cool um let's finish off my water i've been drinking water for the night but yeah so we know union pacific locos sub in to the um sand patch but they're not sure about anything else the only other one we got is uh um they won't do clinchfield because basically clinchfield is set in the 70s i can't see how they will actually sub in on Oakville, to be honest, because they're two different locos. There's a GP38 and a GPR9, is it? We can have a look. It would be nice. No, look. That's a shame. That's a bit of a shame. Anyway, that's the um, that will be the stream for now because it's just over a little bit over an hour. Um, so um, yeah, thanks guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Obviously, you know you can say what you want, but just think that basically, just because you don't like it, doesn't mean anybody else would not like it or whatever. So try and be kind to each other. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. It's only a quick first look. Um, I will then be looking, um, tonight, um, from about quarter to eight G, uh, GMT. Um, and we'll be doing a couple of scenarios and, um, some of the services as well. So yeah, that'll be later on tonight. So come on in, join in, say hello and everything. Don't forget it's coming home. Um... <laughs> So yeah, thank you all very much for turning up. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe if you uh, if you if you cut, just come across the, the channel and that. Um, so yeah, uh, it's now twenty past one in the morning, and I'm going to go to sleep. So uh, guys, thank you all very much. And why has YouTube decided to to fail? So um, yeah, um, thank you all very much. I shall see you guys later tonight. Take it easy and bye bye.